It is year 3015 of the Third Age. Elrond commands an army of elves from Noldor and Imraldis. Sauron has sent a large army of Easterlings from Rune with one goal, to destroy Mirkwood and all creatures who reside there. The elves know they must win this battle, or their realm is at risk. The army consists of more than 3,000 melee units, swordsmen, spearmen and several pikemen. The melee units are split up in four rows, which makes it easy for them to maneuver. Elrond oversees the battlefield and makes sure aid is provided wherever needed. Behind stands more than 2,000 heavily trained archers. Most of them are Noldorian or from Rivendell, but some 300 archers are the elite rangers of the Gulf of Loon. Some 250 Noldorian swordsmen protect the archers' left and right flank. In the woods on the left flank, Elrond has positioned a battalion of swordsmen to flank the enemy forces if needed. There are also elves on the right flank, waiting to ambush the enemy. In the horizon, the Easterlings appear. They have invented fire spinners, a new artillery weapon that has never been used in warfare before. Four fire spitters approach on both the left and right flank, hoping to wreak havoc upon the elven army. The rest of the army consists of mostly Lok Rim melee units, known for their brutal fighting style, as well as Variog swordsmen and bowmen. The Noldor swordsmen on the left flank rush to attempt to take out the enemy's fire spitters before they do too much damage. The Eastering fire spitters seem to do extreme damage to the elven army. Luckily, the swordsmen approach them before they do too much damage. Tons of soldiers rush to slaughter the elven ambush, and a great fight takes place. Although the battalion is quickly defeated, they manage to ruin the fire spitters. But four fire spitters still remain above the elven right flank. The elves have clashed with the enemy on the utter right flank. This battalion is quickly defeated, and rushes back to the main host to rally them. Here, another charge occurs. If they are defeated, the enemy can easily flank and kill the elven archers. Leave a like if you're enjoying the video. The Easterling's main host has stopped about 50 yards away, and Elrond signals the archers to fire at will. Although the elven archers make for high casualties amongst the enemy, the remaining fire spitters are quickly thinning out the elven ranks. Although the armies have not yet collided, hundreds of elves lay dead on the ground. Uh. 
Elrond realizes that the Easterlings will not attack before their artillery has ran out of ammo. Not wanting to fall in their trap, he commands his first line of soldiers to move forth. Elrond commands the next line of soldiers to charge the enemy. A battalion that were initially stationed to safeguard the archer's left flank also charged the enemy. Eventually, Elrond and his guard also charge. The remaining line of elves rush to aid Elrond and their comrades. Absolute chaos breaks loose on the battlefield, and many suffer a tortuous death. A large battalion approach the elves on their left flank. This causes all elven archers to draw their swords and rush to the front lines. The elven soldiers are masters with sword, and slay the enemy easterns with ease. But they are heavily outnumbered by 5 to 1. This takes a toll on the elves' morale. Elrond sees the death and destruction of his kin and orders the remainder of his army to retreat. He knows all hope is lost. The soldiers retreat and will attempt to rally in the Elven King's halls. Thank you for watching. Part 2 of this video comes out at 2000 likes.